These are Wallop Terrier pups, and Solar's got my new boy, Chad. He's only like 15 or 16 weeks old. He looks like he's uh, pretty at home with you, Solar. Solar's going to look after him for a wee while for me. She just agreed to. So, you manage that all right, mate? Yeah. I think it will. Looks like he already wants to go home with you now. He'll be separated from his sister soon because a uh, bloke called Gary's just going to take this other pup, this bitch, away. So, there'll be a wee bit of uh, separation anxiety going on, so you'll better fill that gap. Run, pup, run. Run, pup, run. Run, pup, run. Have your fun. Run dog run, run dog run, run dog run and have your fun. Run dog run and have your fun. Where you go, get them behind. Roll over, come, come here, come. Get up, mate. Get up. A little bit different in size, this guy, eh? 65 kg. Very cuddly, this one. Mmm, loves cuddles. He loves the cuddles. <laughs> Good morning, we have a frost. It is cold. There we have a puppy. Look at this guy here, eh? This is my new pup. This is from Wade Waller. Wade calls these Wild Terriers, and Wade is at my house right now with his dogs. So I'm going to introduce you to Wade and a few of his puppies. Well, most of them are sort of between 16 and 17 weeks, what he's got right now, quite old like this fella. I think he's about 16 weeks. So I get a lot of questions all the time about Wade's dogs. People asking what's in the breed, what sort of country should I hunt them in, uh, what do they cost? So Wade's here to answer a few of those questions for you. Yeah. Yeah, I've always got to have one or two around me. Well, don't two. last long. You soon move on. They do. Should we take them down the front paddock and uh, let them have a run? Why not? These guys have just all met each other for the very first time this morning. Now, they've been separated, they're back together. I'm talking about my two dogs, Pace and B, and you can see they're just getting on so well, eh? There's no scraps. This is something I really love about the breed. They run around and chase after each other, but they don't really... You know, they're a really easy dog to manage, eh? Very easy to manage. I mean, Good you know, great temperament. There goes B's brother, is that right? Yep. And yeah, he's doing right. Pace. See Pace with a stiff tail, just watching him there. Good boy. The Leland's are Pace's cousins. Okay. Old. Right. These are all four months old. Yeah. We fellas are. Just cutting their front teeth. Ready for new homes. Get her, mate. That wee girl's going to Tarkica. Gary Harwood. Old pig under. Oh, yep. These dogs, I would say, and Wade may not agree with me, but I don't think they're for everybody. If you're a person that is hard on your dogs, if you have to hit your dogs all the time to try and control them, you shouldn't have one of these. They're a highly intelligent dog and very sensitive, but at the same time, they can be hard as when it comes to pig hunting. They're almost like a Jekyll and Hyde. They'll be the softest little pet in the world, but then when it turns out to get on the pig, they're just ferocious, they really are. And you've, got to, you've seen my clips, you've seen what they're like. Don't have to try and talk that up, but they're not for if you've got anger problems or you're too hard, you don't feed your dogs properly because they need to be fed well. You shouldn't have one. That'll do. Well, they're, uh, they're 37 years plus in the breeding. We've altered them from um, being a lot harder to uh, more suitable for a finder bale. Yep. Even though they do hang on, depending how many you run with them. They're good for old pricks. They don't have to take so long to get down. They can take their time getting down to the bale, if they're baling. Yeah. It just depends on the country and, like say, how many you run with them. But 
you know, uh, just a, a high prey drive. Um, good work rate, you know, they can go all day. Yep. Uh, like you touched on, they um, they don't like a heavy hand. Just whip yep. it in them. So they, they're <coughs> normally a quite a soft sort of a dog. Yeah, right. But uh, yeah, just good for old pricks, as long as you only run a couple. Yeah. Yeah, if you're running, like I'm running two now, but I'm going to go to probably, well, I'm going to three because I've got the new pup, and eventually when Poe's retired, I'll be running probably just, well, it's hard to say what the future is because dogs get killed when you're hunting, but That's right. um, even with just two dogs, we're catching pigs, eh? That's right. Yeah, you've got a, um, a couple of fairly solid boys. Um, I do have uh, t two, two lines, one smaller than the other. Yep. Um, I try and get a good brief on who's getting them and I can steer them in the right direction whether they want straight balers or something a bit harder. Yeah, right. Because they do hang on. Um, yeah, no, you can, um, you can suit them to any country. you just got to get the right one. So tell us about uh, what it will cost if somebody wants to buy a pup. Like, I mean, you don't really sell small pups here. They start at, what, four months old? They go out? Uh, around that three months old. Okay, so what they get a parvo jab then it's an adult shot So it's their only shot. Yep um, And it just keeps the cost down. I get a good look at the young fella. Yep. He's your boy here. He's um, Nice. Yeah, right. I get a good look at them and if I there's something I don't like they don't go. Yep And I just hang on to them a bit longer and work with them and the training pig and uh, around the stock and stuff and see what I can make of that. Yep um Cost wise, yeah, you know, they, my bitches are a grand, parvoed with a 12 month guarantee. Yep, that's a good good uh, deal, 12 months, so that means you'll take them back any time in 12 months. Yep, from the time they leave me, so they're around um, 15 months old. Right, so you get a good look at them. The boys are um, 700, same okay. deal, parvoed yep. and a 12 month guarantee. And um, I don't get too many come back. Yeah. Not for the wrong reasons, as long as they've got both their eyes and four legs, nothing's a problem. She's the good stuff, this. What's it called, this dog roll? Chunky, mate, it's what you use, is it? Yeah, yeah no, he's nothing else. It's a good dog roll when you're travelling. That's what I like to do with, it with the wee pups. Chop it up. Chop it up. I'm exactly the same. Give them biscuits as well and meat twice a day, twice a day every day. Keeps them going. You get a couple more years out of them at the end of their life if you look after them when they're young. It goes in here. Do another punch. And what's going on, don't you? Hi, hey? Ty. Helps get them in the kennel when you've let them out as well. Yeah, yeah. You get a feed after they've been let out. It's a real incentive, eh? Yep. I actually hand feed my little wild terriers, eh? Just because I enjoy it. Not always, but sometimes I just cut up little bits and just give it to them. Uh, it's good to get a control thing over them. That's the one. Hand yep. feeding. Yep. They're bearing down to you. If you want them hunting for you, not for themselves. Otherwise, they don't fucking come back. Yeah, right. <laughs> So tell me about your brother's line there, Wade. Um, is it the same as yours, pretty much, or not? He's got a closed shop there. Oh, yep. He, um, he does it for himself. Yep. Um, now he's got a bit more bull terrier in his ones. Oh, yeah. Um, he runs two dogs off a rope. That's the call. Kai time. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. These two over here are scavenging something, I'll grab them. Yep. Last two. Well oh, they're loving that chunky, eh? Yeah, you know, it's a good good kai for them. Well it is good kai because it's got also some of the animal off a little as well. It's not yeah. just straight meat. They have uh, heart and lung and liver and kidney, all the good stuff. Yeah. Hey well thanks for just uh, shooting a bit in the camera because I just get asked all the time about Wade's dogs. Good luck finding the right pig dog. Be good, can't be good, be careful. See you later. Rump up, run.
Run, pop, run. Run, pop, run. Have your fun. Run, dog, run. Run, dog, run. Run, dog, run. And have your fun. Run, dog, run. And have your fun. Where you go? Get on behind. Step up. Roll over. Step up. Come. Come here. Come. Jerk, Tom. Run, pop, run. Run, pop, run. Run, pop, run. Have your fun. Run, dog, run. Run, dog, run. Run, dog, run and have your fun. Run, dog, run. Have your fun. Run, pop, run. Run, pop, run. Run, pop, run. And have your fun.